guys. So we received a few messages from people wondering about shade planters and what to put in and what kind of combinations. So I didn't really uh, get it together enough to do a DIY on how to do a shade planter. So I just thought I would show you what I'm gonna be putting in one of mine. This window basket actually gets sun until about one o'clock. So I will be able to blur the lines a little bit in between shade and sun plants. I will be using a couple petunias in here, but they will do really well. Um, this part of my garden, is on the back side of our house. This is a bedroom window and I truly hope you can't see how dirty the window is. It'll be soon covered with plants and I won't worry about it for a while. So anyway, in my planters this year, I'm going for more of a muted look, um, softer colors and more playing with foliage and textures rather than big, bold color. So um, I'm gonna start with a Green Mountain Boxwood. I love, love boxwoods and I would put them in every single pot that I have if they could accommodate it. So. Right here, I'm just gonna be putting it right into the center, just like that, and that will be kind of my main focal point. And I love doing this because this will actually take me into fall and through winter. And if it survives, which it should, I usually water uh, any pot with an evergreen. I water every two weeks through the winter and they usually do really great. I'll either be able to use it again next year or I can pop it out and plant it somewhere in my landscape. So kind of double duty there. The second plant I'm gonna use is actually a favorite in my area and probably in yours too. This is an Ipomia. It's a margarita sweet potato vine and these things get massive. I mean, I'm talking like trail on the ground, have to trim it every single week massive if you fertilize it. I'm gonna put that right in front of the boxwood and I may have to squeeze the root ball a little bit just to fit it in, but that's okay. The plant will not uh, be harmed from that, so. And the third set of plants I'm gonna use in this planter are escargot begonias, and these are really gorgeous. I love these, are fantastic shade plant, and they're also a great house plant. So at the end of summer, I can pop these out and use them inside. So double duty on these two, and I'm gonna put one on each side of the boxwood. And these will actually grow up quite large, this here, and really fill in each side of the window basket. So I think that'll look really pretty. So we'll have some really solid structure. I'll keep this nice and trimmed. And then we'll have this soft, beautiful foliage from these escargot begonias. Put this on in the middle here, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna start on the outside and I'm gonna work my way back in just to give it some more texture and a little bit of color uh, to spill down the edge. And these are a, just a yellow trailing petunia. And these are the surprise series um, petunias, so they won't get really, really long. They'll just get a nice kind of mid-range size. So one of these on each end of the window basket. And they'll provide just a nice light color. Um, so like I said, these, this window basket will get sun until about one o'clock. So we're talking like probably about four, four to five hours or so of sun. And so these petunias will do really well in this planter. So just like that. The next plant is Silver Falls Dichondra. Dichondra, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but uh, anyway, it's a really pretty blue trailing plant. And I'm gonna put one of those right inside of the petunia there. And these, I just love blue foliage coming out of pots. It's so pretty. I use a lot of licorice vine too in my sun planters. So this would be very pretty. Like there we go. All right, and I do make a mess. I get dirt all over the plants, but it's okay. And the last plant is the Colossal Blue, I think. Let me look at the tag. Coloss yeah, Colossal Blue Bacopa. And I love, love, love this plant. It's so great for shady areas because it still blooms and performs really well. So I'm gonna tuck one of each of these right in on either side of the potato vine. And this will be pretty much, this one in the petunia will be my only real color. And I'm sure a lot of you are probably happy to see that I am wearing gloves. Yes, I do wear gloves. I just don't like to wear gloves when I'm doing littler projects, but these gloves, these are Atlas Nitrile Touch. This is not a commercial, but this is my favorite, my favorite gloves ever. I will never ever use any other gloves but these because I can still feel what I'm doing and that makes a huge difference to me. So anyway, a little side note there. And there we go. I'm just gonna give it a little water, water it in and 
let it grow. I like to fertilize with um, Fox Farm Grow Big or um, Jack's Classic fertilizer usually. So I'll give it a shot of that probably once a week and these will get full and huge and beautiful and we will show you an update picture on Facebook if you're following us there. So be sure to run over and follow us there. Um, and also, if you haven't checked us out on Instagram yet, be sure to do that because we post tons of pictures of stuff that's just going on uh, day to day around here. So anyway, thanks you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.